Bonjour, I'm Brian, and in today's Hobby Farm Guys Breed Spotlight, we'll take a closer look at a unique looking chicken breed that originated in France, but is adored the world over. Known as a delicious meat bird, this breed is also known for its looks. The Houdan chicken breed is coming up in just a few seconds. Just enough time to hit that like button so you don't forget. West of Paris in Normandy lies a little village named Houdan. It was in this area that this chicken breed was developed over centuries using two ancient chicken breeds. Two millennia ago, chickens with five toes were common in France and Belgium, and these chickens were crossed with an old crested race of chicken found in Normandy to form the basis of the Houdan breed. Later in the 1800s, those original Houdan chickens were crossed with other breeds, including the Crevecourt and Dorking, to make them more productive and faster growing meat birds. As a result, over time they became popular table birds in France and were highly regarded as fine meat birds who were also decent egg producers. First imported to England in the 1850s and to America in 1865, Houdans were accepted into the American Poultry Association's Standard of Perfection way back in 1874. These original birds were modeled. F.D. Behrman crossed these mottled Houdans with white Polish chickens in America and developed the white Houdan, which gained recognition by the APA in 1914. Houdans are medium-sized birds with a long, compact, and well-proportioned bodies. Cocks weigh 8 pounds and hens come in at around 6.5 pounds. In the U.S., their combs are V-shaped, but in Europe, they are described as leaf-shaped, appearing like a butterfly with its wings open. They have five toes on each foot. The earlobes and wattles are small and may be hidden completely by the feathering. They sport both muffs and beards, as well as a feather crest atop the head. The crest grows from a bony knob on the top of their skulls. In the U.S., mottled and white varieties are recognized and available. In France, other varieties exist, such as black or pearl gray. By far, the most common variety is the mottled. Mottled Houdans are mostly black. About one-third to one-half of the black feathers have white V-shaped tips, giving the birds their mottled appearance. Mottled Houdans sport both black and white feathers in their crests. An interesting thing about the mottled breed is that following a molt, their feathers typically grow back with a little more white coloring than before. So very old mottled chickens will look much whiter than they did when they were younger. There's also a bantam variety created in Britain shortly after the end of the Second World War and then developed further in Germany and in France that is available. Historically a popular table bird, Houdans fatten easily, are quick to mature for a heritage breed, and are said to have an incredible taste. In France, the breed has achieved the sought-after Label Rouge certification for excellence in taste and production. They will also lay around 150 white eggs a year. Broodiness in the breed can be depending on the strain, but generally the breed is not known to go broody often. Cold wet weather can be problematic if their crests get wet and freeze, and they can end up with frostbite. They prefer a warmer, drier climate, but will need shade in excessive heat. Those crests can also interfere with vision, making the birds more susceptible to predation and more jumpy when surprised. Feathers can be trimmed to help out with vision, but those big poofs tend to always limit their vision somewhat. They're excellent foragers, and given enough space, they will happily forage for much of their diet. Gentle and loving, they make good pests, but they can be picked on by other chickens due to their feathering and gentleness. Houdan chickens, like many crested breeds, tend to be noisier than average. So if you're looking to add a little French flair to your flock, take a look at the Houdan. A beautiful bird with a long history of being a tasty table bird. So what are your thoughts on this breed? Share them in the comments below. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons for us as well. Au revoir and happy hobby farming everyone.